Hello everyone, I am Josh and welcome to this Sims 3 house building video. So yes, I am back in the Sims 3 today building um, another house as you'd expect. So this one is again a house built on the ocean like the last one because when I come back to the Sims 3 I kind of want to do something that you can't do in the Sims 4 which is build on the ocean. So this house is actually being built in Aluna Island which is a world created by the Sim Supply. Um, hopefully you'd know who he is. If you don't, that's, um, that's rather interesting. But anyway, so, yeah, this I think is an older version of the world, um, because I'm pretty sure he came out with a newer one, uh, after, um, after I downloaded this one, so. It doesn't really matter, though. I think this is a lot that's in the newer version anyway. Um, I'm not sure what the lot number is, but it's a beach lot. You could probably figure it out. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a, diff a, di a different house than what I'd normally build. It's definitely more older styled for a beach house. It's supposed to be kind of like a villa, um, a seaside villa is what I wanted to call it until I realized other people already took that name. So I decided to call it Ocean View Villa because, you know, no one had that name. At least I don't think anyone does. If I do, if someone else named a house that, I'm sorry, but it was not intentional. So anyway, it's not a bright and airy, like, beach house like you'd expect. It's definitely more older styled. It's more cozy. Um, but that was the look I was going for. I wanted it to be kind of like an older styled um, villa, so that's what I ended up doing. So the house ends up being two floors, and it ends up having four bedrooms and only two and a half bathrooms. You'll see the bathroom situation is a little awkward, um, as you'll see when we get to the upstairs. Um, because the upstairs of this house is very interesting. So you can see there's two staircases there. Uh, one leads to one half of the upstairs, and the other leads to the other half of the upstairs. And the only way to get to each side of the upstairs is to use that staircase. So, yeah, it's a little weird, uh, but it works, so it's fine. Uh, there's the dock, you can see I just put in there. And you can see the house itself doesn't go over the water, because I kind of um, modified the terrain, but the back porch does. So, uh, I put a nice hot tub out there so your sims can go out and literally be standing over the water, which is pretty cool. So you can see here, putting on a kind of... Um, what's the word, a freeze level, I guess you'd call it, so using constrained floor elevation uh, here. So with this house, I really noticed something about The Sims 3, I don't know, I just felt like talking about this, because I remember back in September when The Sims 4 came out, how I was like so cynical about it and saying, um, you know, it was missing so much stuff, like there were no pools, at least at launch, and there's still no, there's still no terrain editing, and all that kind of stuff, so, you know, then after a year of playing The Sims 4 and now coming back to The Sims 3, it's kind of surprising because I think I find myself liking The Sims 4 more because it just feels like a more polished game, especially when it comes to performance because The Sims 3 is still so frustrating. Like you'll see when I get into furnishing, well I don't know if you can really see it because it's sped up so much, but creative style was lagging so much. It was so frustrating. So, you know, each game has its strengths. So I'm not sure how many more Sims 3 builds I'm going to be making because it's a little frustrating because because The Sims 3 is just so annoying, really it is, especially when it comes to furnishing because it's so slow. It's just, it's incredible, like my computer is more than powerful enough to handle it and it, The Sims 4 runs beautifully but The Sims 3 is still just so annoying. But anyway, um, that's besides, that's not um, that important doesn't really concern the build too much, and um, I'll talk about the house. So you can see here, it is um, definitely an interesting shape, got a lot of turrets going on. I do actually add another turret later on, and yeah, so right now I have a thatched roof, and I do change it because I didn't like it too much. It didn't seem very villa-esque, if that makes sense, so I changed it to a tile roof, because it seems to make more sense. Uh, putting in the siding here, um, I use the siding very sparingly. Um, yeah, very sparingly. I don't use it very much. It's just like in a few places and the color of it changes quite a lot So here you can see I'm just kind of fiddling around with the uh, Walls here and working on the second floor floor plan I think pretty soon which is as you can see here There's this kind of square room that goes through the center of the house on the first floor It's kind of like a piano room and then the second floor is a little balcony It looks down and the third floor it really is no third floor, but at the top there's some windows so uh, it's kind of like a nice turret, but, you know, it, it kind of takes up the center of the house, which is a little weird. So it was kind of difficult to work with with the floor plan because of that. So you can see here, I kind of had to separate off the two upsides of the upstairs. 
like the way they are. You can see here now, one staircase leads to one part and one staircase leads to the other, and you can't access the other part of the second floor from the other part of the second floor, if that makes sense. So it's a little weird, but you can see that's the way it worked out. And you know, I thought it was kind of interesting because it kind of suited the style of the house, which is kind of more um, archaic. Well, not archaic, but you know, it doesn't necessarily need to make sense because it's like an old house, so you know, it's got charm because of that. I don't know. Um, I took ages to pick a fence, and I do change the fence after I pick it. I go with a wood one at first, then I change it to a stone one, and you'll see that the fences were a nightmare. Because I really love the fences in The Sims 4, because there's so many nice ones, but The Sims 3, I, there's like no fences I like. So, yeah, that took a bit of time. You can see here, also using these archways that go um, to this little kind of covered area before you go into the house. I don't know, I thought it kind of looked like something a villa would have. And also, I really like those stone archways. Uh, something else I think I want to mention, um, something else I should mention is that this is actually my third attempt at this building video, because the first two attempts I tried to build a house in Monte Vista, which is that kind of Italian world from the store, but the first one was absolutely atrocious. The second one, I stopped record. I hit I hit my hotkey that sets that's set to stop the recording by accident when I was typing in a cheat, and half the build was lost, because that's typical. And then I did the same thing again with this house, you'll see during the landscaping. Um, so, yeah, there's no landscaping, really, in this video. You'll see, it's like the same thing I did with my last Sims 3 house building video, because the file got corrupted that time. But this time, I was just such an idiot that I pressed my hotkey when typing in a cheat by accident and didn't realize it. So there's no landscaping, it's just some screenshots, but it's okay. This is a relatively long build anyway, so, you know, it's not that important. But it's, like, so frustrating. I do such stupid things all the time. It's like typing in move objects on and then I hit a bracket key, which is my stopping, my start-stop uh, for recording. And, yeah, that's just the way I seem to do things. So, anyway, I'm changing the roof color here, and there's so many tile roof colors um, in this game. I do change it from that bright orange color. I make it kind of more weathered look to it, so you'll see that. Anyway, there's the stone um, fences, so those look quite a bit nicer. And putting them all over the place, I do expand that front area, like that front, I don't know, I don't want to call it a terrace, but it's not really a terrace. But you know, like before the front door, I don't really want to call it a porch either because it's got, not got a roof, but anyway, I expand it. I also put this wall out front. It serves no purpose because you sims can just walk around it. But it looked kind of cool, so that's what I ended up doing. Uh, putting in a lot of stone, I think like 90% of the outside of this house is stone, because I want it to be villa-like look. Oh, that was a bad way to say that, I'm sorry. Um, I want it to look like a villa. At least I th feel like stone makes things look like a villa, unless that's just me. I don't know. Anyway, you can see here expanding this front area, so got that nice extra bit. Also, there's going to be kind of like a gazebo out the back here, as you can see. Uh, which looks pretty cool. And I get to make use of The Sims 3's beautiful hexagonal roofs, or octagonal. Is that, is that an octagon? I think it might be. I can't tell. I went too fast. Um, but anyway, The Sims 4, as I was complaining about in my latest Sims 4 build, is there's no octagonal roofs, or hexagonal roofs, or whatever, in the game. So you can see their beautiful roof over the turret there. Uh, not the turret, the, the, um, whatever it's called. The gazebo. Why was that so hard to find? I don't know. Also, over all the turrets, there's a kind of a curved roof, which is pretty cool. I've never used it before. Um, you can't see it now, obviously, because the roof is down. Oh, there it is. You can see the curved kind of roofs over the turrets. I thought they looked pretty cool. So, yeah. Anyway, we're actually coming up to the land landscaping screenshots, which you'll see in, like, in a minute. Um, so, yeah. Again, I apologize for that. It was my own stupidity that caused it. But anyway, it's already like a 35-minute video, so... Who cares about landscaping anyway? Um, so putting in some windows here, I love these windows from Showtime, by the way, because they have like these fences kind of on them. They look really cool. Um, I used a lot of Showtime windows in this house. Um, yeah, they're really neat looking. A lot of arched windows, big windows, you know, a lot of light can come in. Here's the screenshots, there's the house before landscaping, and then there's the landscaping. Beautiful! You got to see it, and sorry that I didn't record it, but... Never mind. Oh, actually, there's a bit of landscaping here, so you can see now the landscaping's in, in the front at least, adding a little bit more down the side here. Um, otherwise, you didn't really miss anything, it was just some plants. I mean, that was really it. <laughs> you can see otherwise it looks the same. So, luckily I caught my mistake pretty quickly. Otherwise, I would be really pissed. But anyway, putting in some nice tile on the porches, or whatever they are, around the house. Um, 
I want to call him a terrorist, though. I know that's probably the wrong word. Also, adding in another turret here, so that looks pretty cool. There's another domed, not domed roof, but, you know, curved cone. Cone, that's the word. Nice cone roof. Um, and some more siding. And, yeah, some more stone, of course. And uh, I put some more windows in soon, but not right now. Anyway, I'm going to work on the dock here. So this is where you can obviously pull your boat in, and then your sims can teleport from their boat onto the dock, because it's the sims, not real life. Sims don't actually walk out of boats, but anyway, um, trying to get the dock to kind of come down, so like you walk, like when you walk out of the house, it's higher up, and you go down some stairs to the lower part of the dock. Took a bit of fiddling around to get it to work properly, but I got there in the end, as you'll see. So, yeah, the game is a bit finicky about this kind of thing, but, you know, I figure it out, so. Again, trying to place some stairs in, because straight flight elevation is making weird things look weird. Um, there you go. See, it worked there for a second. And I'm about to do it, and come on, just, there we go, beautiful stairs. Um, so there you go, you can see the dock here, and it comes around the side. I'll put the boat in in a second, and uh, there's the boat. So there you go, you can boat in and um, walk into the house, pretty nice. Also here, we putting a little fountain um, on the front there, front porch area. And I do put a hot tub back here at this moment, but then I delete it and place a different one in at the end. So you'll see that, because that one kind of had a backing to it, you can see that blocks that wall. So then the living room wouldn't have big windows that look out to the ocean, which was kind of weird. So I did fix that. Also here I used some wood fences, though I changed them later to stone fences to match the rest of the house, so you'll see that too. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just terrain painting something. What am I doing? Oh, I just messed up all the terrain there. Uh, oh, adding a little piece of roof there. That looks pretty fancy. Yeah, the roof is really complicated on this house. You can see it. There's a lot of elements to it. But I thought it looked pretty interesting. You know, it kind of gave that older look to the house, like, you know, it was not necessarily built with um, exact precision. I don't know. I thought it looked pretty cool. And again, all that wood fencing I do replace with the stone fencing later. And I'm just rotating the camera like mad right there. What was I doing? I don't know. Getting a good look at my work, apparently. Um, and putting in the front door, finally. That's pretty exciting. Uh, putting in some more doors and windows soon, hopefully, because... Half the house is still missing windows. Um, putting in some archways so you sims can get places. That's always convenient. And yeah, so just leveling out some messed up walls. Because, uh, there we go, that messed it up again. I don't know how that happened, but anyway, you can see there's a little balcony that looks down over the small room with the piano in it. And also putting in some railings with the stairs. And uh, here we go, coming back to windows finally. So getting in some small windows here. Um, finding them. Almost got them. Nope, not quite. There you go. Got the windows. Uh, so you can view the ocean from the bedroom, which is nice. And what am I doing here? Uh, getting some more plants in. Yeah, so very lush landscaping in this house, which is what I usually do. Also a giant pile of rocks here, as you can see. I don't know, I thought they were kind of interesting. And yeah, so adding in a bit more terrain paint here, a bit of dirt just to make it look realistic. I also put some grass on the front. Um, it there probably would not be gra grass growing this close to the ocean, but I thought it looked nice. I wanted to have some grass, so I did that a long time. I did that like, at the very beginning of the video before I even started on the house, but I thought I'd mention it now. Uh, putting in some more ferns, and not really ferns, but whatever they are. Some nice um, tropical looking plants and some doors, finally, so you can get out to those balconies. And some more windows, and many more windows on that turret there. And, um, yeah, more windows and doors, because it's always good to be able to get out, um, of the house if you need to. And, yeah, so, looking good here, and what am I doing? Getting in some more windows, just a lot of windows and doors, that's basically what's happening here. Um, finding some nice windows for the living room, of course, using the arched ones. And here I change the siding color, um, to yellow. At the very end of the video, I change it to, like, a peach color, because it went with the roof better, because the yellow is a bit weird to be honest, so you can see you're going with yellow for now, but that does not stay. Also, going through a whole bunch of roof colors, I do settle for a lighter color, uh, which you'll see in a second. There it is. So you can see it's kind of got a more weathered look to it than the brighter color I had before. Now, what's happening here? I'm not sure. Oh, getting in some more windows, of course, as you do. As you do. Uh, okay, here we go. We're beginning on the interior and get to begin experiencing the joys of laggy creator style. <laughs> so, in the entranceway, I went with a nice kind of stone flooring. It actually went throughout that whole part of the house there, you can see. Um, putting in some more archways. So, 
Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, gonna get some wallpaper in, hopefully pretty soon. Also, those nice lights. You can see definitely not a modern style in this house. It's definitely a more older look to it. There's the wallpaper, which is kind of an interesting wallpaper. I've never used it before. It's actually from Island Paradise, so, you know, you'd think it would go well in um, an island house, but anyway, going with a kind of darker color to it, it's definitely not supposed to be a bright and vibrant house. It's more of like, I don't know, it's like a villa. I don't know why. When I think of villa, I think of more darker, like richer, warmer colors, and I think of Italy, really, and that's why I was going to build this house in Monte Vista, but I just gave up on that because I failed twice. So I came here and um, to a more tropical island, and you know, that's kind of what I wanted to do. So anyway, here's the entranceway coming together. You can see there's a nice side table there, um, with a nice golden mirror, and some shoes. So, you know, you can set your shoes up there. It's actually not usable, but it looks nice. Uh, what am I doing here? Changing the color of these stairs. So, you know, they look nice. And you can see the game is like was lagging there a lot. Like, the eyedropper tool for me is also so annoying, because like when I click on the eyedropper tool, like, well, I click on it, I select the eyedropper tool, then I go to, I select an object to eyedrop, or clone, clone tools, what it's really called in the game, I think. It, like, it doesn't clone it. Like, I have to, like, do it twice or three times before it clones it. It's so frustrating. And when I'm on the clone tool, the game lags so much. Right here, you can see, look at creative style right now. It's, like, all over the place, and I had to, um, um, restart the game there. That's why there's a cut, because it was just lagging so much. And then it was fine. I restarted the game, and it worked fine. So, I don't know, then it started lagging again later. It's just, The Sims 3 is a mess sometimes, really. Anyway, the entranceway is done while I was moaning about um, the eyedropper tool. And now we're working on the kitchen here, so we've got a nice tile floor. Um, it kind of looks like a, it would be a um, terracotta, but it's not terracotta colored. Anyway, got a nice lifesaver on the wall there. Also putting in some cabinets and um, counters, and there you go, looking beautiful. And uh, yeah, so pretty nice kitchen, very large as you can see. Um, doing a Sims 4 thing with the islands, uh, which doesn't look quite so good in The Sims 3, but it worked pretty well. One thing I do like about The Sims 3, we're doing this kind of um, stove in the island, is that the stoves don't have backsplashes on them. Because in The Sims 4, like they all have this backsplash, so it like sticks up when you put it like in an island. Which is really annoying, but in The Sims 3 it doesn't do that, so it's quite nice. Anyway, that's not very interesting. So, as you can see, you're putting in some bar stools, which look pretty nice. All um, all of them have a different color, and then I kind of move them around. So only one is usable, because two are kind of um, like pushed in too far to be usable, but they kind of look more realistic that way. Now here I'm putting in a little china cabinet and a plant. That looks pretty nice. And some mats, so you don't, you know, track mud into the house. Or sand, really, I guess, because it's at the beach. And yeah, so putting in some more mats, and I will get to the wall color, here we go. Got this kind of nice um, uh, tile on the wall with kind of like, uh, what's the, oh, the seashells, um, kind of embedded in the tiles, it looks pretty cool. And a nice green color for those tiles as well. And uh, getting some lighting in, and I will put a nice kind of breakfast nook in that little bay window area, we're doing that right now actually. So you got a nice little table and some chairs, you know, so you don't have to eat in the formal dining room if you don't want to. So that's pretty nice, and getting in some colors definitely went on the more interesting side of with colors in this house. You can see uh, I don't match things as much as I used to. Like, The Sims 4 has kind of trained me not to match things, because with The Sims 4, you get used to things not matching, because there's no creative style. But now I'm kind of carrying that over to The Sims 3, because it's just I can't be bothered to use creative style all the time. And it kind of looks more realistic if not everything is matching, because in real life, you know, you get furniture from different places over time. You know, not everything exactly matches. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So you can see, you saw before, like, the table was blue with chairs that had, like, wood color on them. You know, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, got a nice parquet wood flooring here in the living room and putting in some wood paneled walls and getting a TV, a nice flat screen TV, most modern thing in the house, and uh, getting in some shelving, which you can put things on, and got a nice bookshelf there. So plenty of bookshelves in this house. I, they're like, I put bookshelves everywhere pretty much because they're just a good space filler, really. You know, bookshelves and chess tables. Although chess tables are pretty, well, they're pretty useful too, bookshelves. Bookshelves and chess tables are, they're kind of useful, but like they're the kind of thing you don't use very much in the game. But I just use them for space filling because when you have an empty wall or like a little empty section in a room, you know, just throw a bookshelf in or throw a chess table and it all works wonderfully. Uh, here we have the living room area. You can see you put the couches in. Got this kind of fake L-shaped couch using that coffee table. 
and putting in some seating so you can view the ocean out the window. And yeah, that's pretty fancy. Got a stereo system there, which kind of blocks that shelf, but no one's gonna notice anyway. Uh, putting in some odd items and a nice mirror there over the chess table. That's pretty fancy. And yeah, so pretty simple room, uh, not too bright and colorful. You know, it's got like more wood tones in it and it's definitely more warmer, which is the look I was going for. Though I do get in some green chairs, that adds a pop of color. And you know, I think it looks really nice. Putting in some curtains, oh, I love these curtains. They're from Master Sweet Stuff Pack. Um, and it's the only item I use from that stuff pack all the time because they just look so nice I don't know why because they're like they're separate pieces so they can be indefinitely long um, Like you know because like one half is one object and the other side is the other object So they're more versatile. I really like them uh, Anyway putting in the piano room here. So this is the tower area the bottom of the tower um, I'm not doing it now. I put some lighting in there. I'll get to it in a moment but that's the bottom of the tower area, and um, there's an overlooking balcony from the second floor, and the third floor area just has some windows. It's kind of cool, again, it's the one part of the house that splits up the second floor, so it's kind of a weird thing. If you download the house, you can get rid of it, obviously, and then everything will work probably a bit better, but I thought it was kind of cool. So you can see the piano. Again, for me, all houses have to have a piano, because I just love having Sims play the piano, I don't know. Um, it's it's calming. Uh, anyway, working on the small half bathroom downstairs, it basically just matches the kitchen, got the same wallpaper and everything. You know, and the bathroom has spectacular ocean views as well, which is pretty fancy. And yeah, so putting in some lighting here and all that good stuff. Got some nice marble flooring in there, so that's a nice feature. And yeah, pretty simple bathroom, not too much to it. Took me a little while to do it though, which is kind of interesting to note. Not really, but you know. Anyway, there you go, beautiful bathroom completed. Now we're moving on to the dining room, which uh, is pretty nice. It's very formal, and it doesn't have too many bright colors. You know, it kind of matches the living room with the more warmer wood tones. So you can see you're getting in the large dining table, plenty of seats, and you know, it looks pretty nice. I also get a buffet area in. Not that you can actually use it as one, but it looks it's supposed to look like one. So you can see you have these cabinets down here, so and some like china cabinet at the top, so you know. If you're having a party, theoretically, you would serve food there and people would get it, so, you know. Anyway, also another china cabinet there, also an anchor um, in the sand, because why not? And, you know, adding in some more details, some little pictures on the wall, they look pretty fancy. And, um, yeah, so pretty simple dining room, and putting in a nice pl a couple plants I do put in. Uh, getting in some more lighting, and more lighting, a lot of sconces in this house. You can see those, like, the wall lights are everywhere, like, every room has multiple wall lights. I overdid it a little bit, but then again, the house is so dark, I don't know why. It's like the lighting in this game is really annoying. But anyway, putting in a bunch of, uh, oh, well, putting a fountain there. As I was going to say, putting in a bunch of clutter items here um, on this buffet. So you got some lemonade and some paper towels for some reason. You know, little pictures, candle, all that good stuff. Also some more chairs, so you know, you, just, you can sit down in the dining room if you want to and um, do whatever you do. Anyway, there you go, that's the dining room. And now we're moving on to the turret room, which I kind of make a art room, not really an art room, but you got the drafting table from Ambitions in there, so if you want to create drawings or something, your sims can do that. And, you know, it's kind of a sitting area as well, so I put in some curtains on the windows, of course, and um, a nice couch as well. So you'll see that in a second. Um, putting in some plants, and you know, it's a pretty simple room. Uh, got the nice stone floor on there. I actually really like that stone floor. It looks pretty cool. Uh, there's the couch and a little coffee table. So, you know, if one sim wants to sit down and watch the other sim draw, they can do that if they want to. It's their house. They can do whatever they want. And there you go. That's a lovely little sitting area in the turret. Um, not many good views from that part of the house because it's in the front of the house. So you're basically just looking out to the road and the cliff across the street. So, yeah, not, not that thrilling, but... Anyway, moving on to the study, which has a fireplace, um, that's pretty fancy, and plenty of bookshelves, obviously, because it's the study, and you know I like to use bookshelves a lot anyway, so when it comes to a study, it has to have lots of bookshelves. And you got that nice blue rug in there, and that nice golden chandelier, which I've been using everywhere in the house, and a nice desk, of course, a nice executive desk, so your sims can, you know, feel powerful when they're sitting at their desk browsing the web. Uh, putting in a lamp on the desk and some chairs. So, you know, if your sims want to sit down, plenty of chairs in this house. You know, every room has a little sitting area in it. So, you know, if your sim needs to sit down, they don't have to go very far to find a chair, which is a very nice feature. Um, also here we have a nice, uh, whatever it is, a, a fish tank. I don't know why that word slipped my mind. 
Words tend to slip my mind all the time. Anyway, putting in a bunch of clutter items to make it look more realistic, and a nice coffee table there, and that's pretty much the first floor done, which is pretty exciting. Now we're moving on to the second floor and this stupid little stair that would not place. And it kept saying there was an object blocking it, though I basically decimated the whole area, and still could not find the object that was blocking it. So, that was really frustrating. So, um, yeah, I ended up changing that uh, stair the, the way it went, because it was just really annoying. So you'll see, I ended up making it just go straight, because it, it would not go around that corner. It was driving me nuts, so... Yep, you can see, just trying to figure out what the heck the item was. It wasn't the other stairs coming up, because it worked, this same thing worked fine on the other side, and even when I got rid of the stairs, it wouldn't place, I don't know, it was just annoying. So, as you can see there, it just goes straight up, and it's all good. Anyway, this is the first part of the second floor, it's like the first half of it, if that makes sense. There's a little balcony that looks over the piano room, and uh, putting in some doors, because doors are convenient to have, if you want to get into one room. Uh, from another, <laughs> putting in some wallpaper and some lighting, um, putting in some lights here behind the stairs. I think the stairs are still usable if I put lights there. I hope they are, because otherwise it's just pitch dark in that like middle level because lighting in The Sims 3 does not shine between levels. So yeah. Anyway, putting in some more curtains here. This upstairs room is just kind of a room. I don't really remember what I put in there. I think it's just like a telescope and some seating. And that's pretty much it, so nothing much to it. Um, here I'm just looking at the house, observing, um, thinking about what I'm going to do. Not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, trying to find a place for a bathroom. Yeah, because the upstairs only had one bathroom, and that was the master. So the other three bedrooms still needed a bathroom. So putting in a bathroom here um, makes things a bit more convenient. So I just tacked on a little bathroom there, so everything is now good and dandy. I'm putting in some lighting. Um, I do finish the outdoor lighting later on, though. I don't know why, I just felt like putting those outdoor lights there at this point in time. Putting in another side table, you know, for a bit more detail and some plants and finding a little box of tissues and some other clutter items there. But again, there's plenty of wall lights up here, so you can see there's like wall lights everywhere. But you know, they kind of add to the style of the house, you know, a bit more ornate and old styled. Uh, here's the upstairs bathroom, again, pretty small, but you got the tub shower combination, toilet and sink, everything you need. Um, all conveniently right there and um, yeah so now I'm going to do the bedrooms so that's pretty exciting here I'm gonna start with a girl's bedroom so we got like, a little girl's bedroom which I'm about to do here we go so it's this small little room here uh, it's got a nice little balcony though that looks out over the water it's got a nice pink bedspread and it's kind of an interesting color scheme it's got that yellow blue not blue that yellow green and pink wallpaper which you can see there and you got the nice green carpeting and the pink bedspread. It sounds like a pretty horrible color combination, but it all works pretty well. You can see, you know, it's pretty pleasing on the eye and it's kind of a nice little look. Um, I would imagine this house, though, being more of a vacation home than, like, a house your Sims would live in every day because, of course, in The Sims 3, you can own multiple houses. Although, they all have to be in the same world, so that kind of defeats the purpose. But anyway, I feel like this would be more of a vacation home, like a villa that maybe you would rent out or something. Or I guess you could own it. You know, I thought that's kind of the look I was going for, or I don't know, that's kind of the look that came out of it anyway. Uh, but anyway, you can see here, um, a nice little girl's bedroom there. This room here is going to be a guest bedroom, so we got that nice blue wallpaper, which I later change, and the carpeting I, I changed too. Like, I kind of switched the wallpaper and carpeting, the carpet goes blue and the wallpaper goes kind of a um, kind of beige-ish color, like a mauve color, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so here's the nice bed and some nice end tables and lamps, you know pretty decent sized room It's actually very large, but this is the only bedroom that doesn't have a balcony So, you know, it's got the turret though, so that's pretty cool uh, Putting in some more windows and uh, changing the color of the carpet there to blue and the walls there You can see to kind of like a peachy mauve color um, I don't know. I just thought it looked better that way uh, getting in some curtains of course, you know, it all looks pretty nice um, I don't oh I do put curtains in the uh, in the, um, whatever it's called, the turret, oh jeez, <laughs> the turret, yes, that's the word, um, but I'm not usually this bad with forgetting words, I'm sorry, I don't know what is with me today, anyway, putting in, you can see there's some nice chairs there, I also put in a, another, oh, I do put in a bookshelf, there's the bookshelf, of course, because again, like I said, if there's empty wall, I mean, what else are you going to put there but a bookshelf, also, I put a, um, a nice little art easel in the turret, so your sims can paint if they want to, Anyway, this bedroom here on the other side of the upstairs is a boys' room. So, you know, pretty small room, but it does have a nice little balcony that looks out the front. 
and you have a very dark wallpaper on the walls. It's kind of like a leafy pattern, which is definitely interesting. So this room kind of has a more blue, black, and green color scheme, which is kind of interesting. Also, I got a giant SimCity wallpaper, not wallpaper, um, poster on the wall there, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I don't think I've gotten a chance to use that poster yet. Uh, so that's pretty neat. There you go. That was like a promotional thing when SimCity came out a couple years ago. Also, putting in a rug, of course, a little beanbag chair, and some toys and other things, so it looks nice and lived in and cozy. And now we're moving on to the final bedroom, actually the final rooms in the house, the master suite. So here you can see, uh, got the nice blue wallpaper there and the parquet wood flooring, and you got the nice four-poster bed. And of course this room, because it's the master, has two balconies, uh, both looking out over the ocean, so, you know, that's pretty fancy. And they go getting in some uh, end tables and some lamps, making it look nice and luxurious. Also putting in a, you do put a couch in, although not there. Also there's plenty of seating in the master bedroom. You got two chairs and a couch, so, you know, if, if you want to sit in your bedroom for some reason, you can do that. There's a chair, there's the couch, I mean, or love seat rather is what it's really called. Uh, putting in a rug, of course, a blue rug to match. And, um, you know, a little dresser so you can change your clothes and... Not a plant, a mirror, just a bunch of stuff, really. Um, <laughs> and I put in some little tables on the other side of that door, just to add a bit of detail, a little mat on the floor, so I don't know why you'd have a mat to a balcony. Like, a mat on the floor in front of the door to the balcony. Wow, that was a weird way to say that, but anyway, I did it. So here is the master bathroom, which is the size of a bedroom. Uh, very large. And you can see here you got that tub in the middle of the room that looks toward the ocean, because of course you have to have that. And you got the dual sinks on the other side of the room, and the separate um, that mean the separate shower and toilet. And also this nice little shelving area, so you got some towels on there and a bunch of other stuff. You know, making it look nice in detail. Little hamper, it looks pretty cool. Um, you know, I really like the tub area. It looks really nice. Like you have the tub kind of like there, cocooned in this um, bay window area that looks out over the ocean. Really neat. Uh, of course, putting some curtains in and some little tables with flowers on them to make it look fancy and some mirrors, a bunch of nice details like that, and you know, looks pretty cool. Anyway, that's the master suite done, and uh, one more room, uh, this little turret room, just got a little sitting area in it, and a telescope, and that's it. Now we're moving on to the details, the final details, I'm just like changing the color of the areas under the roofs, and you know, I'll just touch up some things. So also I paint in all these kind of areas that your sims can't access. Um, like in between the levels and all that stuff black just because I like it to look you know clean and Finished I don't know. It's just the way I like to be uh, like it to be so anyway um, I do change the railings here. You can see they got the stone railing now instead of the wood and I also changed that um, To all the tile and here I'm changing the siding again of course to the um, peachy color I was talking about earlier. I thought it went with the roof quite a bit better than the yellow I don't know why I thought yellow was a good idea Apparently I did. So there you go, putting in the orangish peach color, which goes with the roof a lot better. And that's the colors done, finally. Putting in a bit more plants here, and I'm gonna put the hot tub in. There's the hot tub. And we're almost done. Anyway, I hope you've been enjoying this video. After this building part, there's gonna be some screenshots for you to enjoy. And if you've um, liked this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd check out my channel, because I make a lots more house builds and uh, other Sims related videos, so it'd be great if you check those out. And yeah, just adding in the outdoor lighting here, of course, so it doesn't look pitch dark at night. And adding light on all the balconies and all that nice um, stuff, I guess. And yeah, so looking pretty good here, changing the color of the boat and uh, moving the trash can and mailbox. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.